So we can say that a differential equation is separable if you can write it like this. dy dx equals some function of x times some function of y. Now, if you want to solve this differential equation, you can do the following. You just need to rearrange it. So we've got f of x here, and we take this dx here, and this g of y, we move it over to this other side as 1 over g of y with respect to y. Now, because we've written it like this, we can now take the integral of both sides. We get the integral of this function with respect to y and the integral of this function with respect to x. We integrate, we rearrange, we get y equals something. That's how we're going to get it done. Here's our simplest example, dy dx equals xy. This is a function of x and this is a function of y. Now, we can rearrange this x and that dx can come to here. And that y down to here is 1 over y dy. Now that I've got it rearranged, I can take the integral of both sides. Now the integral of 1 over y is ln y plus c. And the integral of x is x squared 1 half plus c. Now this c is some arbitrary constant and this c is some other arbitrary constant. So we can push them together as one single arbitrary constant. For clarity, I'll just call this constant 1 and this constant 2 and this constant 3. And it doesn't matter what they are. When we put one constant together, that's, they're going to be the same. All right, now what do we have? Well, we want to get y by itself. And we can rearrange this. We can write this in exponential form. We can say that e to all of this, 1 half x squared plus that constant, is equal to y. Now we've solved this equation here, that's a solution to this. We can sort of neaten it up a little bit by separating out this e to the this and e to the c3. So we get this here, and then we can let a equal e to the constant there, because that's just going to be a, a constant itself. So what we get is a e to the one half x squared equals y. All right, this is our first uh, separable differential equation. Second example, uh, this is a separable differential equation because we have a function of x and a function of y. Now again, we're going to rearrange this. So we get 12x cubed with respect to x, and we get 1 over this function here, e to the negative 2y, with respect to y. And now that we've rearranged it, this with respect to y and this with respect to x, we can take the integral of both. All right, so let's do it. This integral looks pretty easy. x to the 4, 12 divided by 4 is 3, and we get a little constant here, which I'll call constant 2, and this is obviously going to lead me to my constant 1 here. So uh, this is a little trickier, so I might just need to step through it a little bit. e to the 2y because it was negative on the bottom, so when I move it to the top, it's going to be positive. And then the integral of e to the 2y is half e to the 2y plus some constant we'll call c1. And we have 3x to the 4 plus that other constant there. Now, obviously, those two constants can get brought together into a single constant. So now we have 3x to the 4 plus this third constant. And we have half e, whoops, half e to the 2y. All right, if I multiply both sides by 2, that'll get rid of our half here. Multiplying this side by 2 gives me 6x to the 4 plus that constant multiplied by 2, which is just some other constant. I guess I'll call it constant 4. And I have e to the 2y. All right, now what can I do? Well, I want to get y by itself, and I can take the log of both sides, or I can write this in logarithmic form. So I can say ln natural log, so log base e, all of this, 6x to the 4 plus this constant, is equal to 2y, which obviously means that y is equal to 1 half of ln 6x to the 4 plus that constant. Now I really should note, I'm finished here, this is the solution. I really should note that like this C1, C2, C3, C4 thing, it's not really necessary. You can get rid of these subscripts as long as you're following along. So this can just be a plus, plus C here, and we can get rid of them as well. I just want to show you that these constants, they're changing, but they're also, because they're all things, they're not changing. So we've got another example here, and you might be looking at it saying, that does not 
look like that. We want dy dx equals some function of x, some function of y, and this is all mixed up. So the first question is, is this a separable differential equation? If we want to do that, we need to rearrange it so that it looks like that. All right, so I could probably move this whole thing over to this side to make the x positive, and we end up with dy dx. And this 3y minus 6, I can move that over to here, so 3y minus 6. Um, all right, and then I can just divide by x here. So dy dx equals 3y minus 6 over x. Now, that is a separable function because we can rewrite it as 1 over x times 3y minus 6. Um, now, once we've done that, we now can just sort of rearrange it a little. So we take this dx here, we'll put it up the top on this side. So we have dx and dy on the top on both sides. And then we're left with 1 over x on this side and 1 over 3y minus 6 on this side. Now we can integrate these as they are, but I'm going to be a little bit sneaky here, make it a little bit easier for myself. I see this 3y minus 6. It might be easier if I write that as 1 over 3y minus 2 dy dx 1 over x. And then you're thinking, what, 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 why? That 3, we can multiply both sides by 3. And that's going to get rid of that 3 on this side. And I'm going to be left with 3 on x with respect to x equals 1 on y minus 2 with respect to y. That's going to be easier. That looks really easy to integrate. That looks really easy to integrate as well. So let's integrate those. So they're both logs, 3ln x plus c equals ln y minus 2 plus c. And we get the hang of this c thing now. So we can get rid of that c and drive it into this c so we have a single c. Now, new sneaky trick. This is a constant, right? So I can rewrite it in various different ways as long as it still remains some constant. So I'm going to call it 3ln x for this bit here. And then this bit, I'm going to write as a natural log, plus ln base e c. Where c, these aren't the same c's. These are different c's, but we've gone over that. All right, ln y minus 2. All right, that allows me to push these into a single log now. I take that 3, put it up here, so ln x cubed, and then I can use my log laws. So it's going to be ln x cubed times c equals ln y minus 2. ln this equals ln this, so this equals this, and it's probably more polite to write it as not x cubed c, but c x cubed equals y minus 2, which of course we can finish off now and say that c x cubed plus 2 equals y. That is the solution to this separable differential equation. A couple of steps there. First of all, we figured out whether it was separable or not by writing it in that form, and then done the work. Now you can use this to solve questions that you've solved in the past in a different way, but you might like this way a little bit better. So if we've got dy dx equals y, you might be looking at that saying, it's not that. There's no function of x there. But there actually is a function of x there if we want there to be a function of x. So we can say that dy dx equals 1 times y. And we can treat that 1 as our function of x. So now we can rearrange this as we always do, 1 times dx and uh, dy 1 over y. And we can integrate both sides. Now we integrate the 1 with respect to x, we get x. And when we integrate that, we get ln y. And we've got these plus c's there. And by now you know we only really need them on one side. Let's put it on that side there. Okay, now that we've done that, we can rewrite this as e to the x plus c equals y. Um, now we can do things with that as well. We can write it as a e to the x equals y um, by substituting e to the c or a for e to the c. Just for the sake of completeness, this is how you would have done it previously before you knew about separable differential equations. You would have said dy dx equals y, same line. Then you would have flipped it, dx dy equals 1 over y. And then you would have integrated that, x equals ln y plus c. 
x minus c equals ln y. Now we can turn that into a plus c if we want to because it's just a const it's just a variable, it could be anything. Uh, sorry, an arbitrary constant. Uh, and then we can say e to the x minus c or plus c equals y, and then we can replace that e to the negative c with an a. Same answer, same answer. This done by inverting our dy dx, and this done using separable differential equations. You choose. All right, that's it.